Hello, teacher. Hello, Rodrigo. Good evening. Good evening. How are you feeling today? Mm, más o menos, teacher. Eh, es que me agarró... Bueno, no, realmente no viene tan bien. Me agarró como una especie de... Como un ataque de ansiedad. Oh, wow. No me, no me he sentido muy bien realmente. He andado con mareo y así como... Como cuando la cabeza está como, como vacía. Esa sensación. Tanto que he pasado todavía todo el día así. Did you go to Entonces, <laughs> I need, I, I, tenía que ir, tenía que ir, pero yo creo que es una mezcla entre estrés y, y cansancio. Claro, claro, lo que llamamos en inglés el burnout. Ajá, definitivamente, Ajá. burnout. Uh -huh. Toda la razón, burnout. Entonces, sí, de, de verdad que rara vez yo tomo té, he pasado con té y con música oh. clásica, tal vez así... <risa> Tal vez así me baja un poco, pero ya gracias a Dios un poquito mejor, pero así todavía como con miedito. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I imagine. And I guess you cannot take days off this time, right? Like this season. Mm, I have, but in December 22, I have my holidays until to, uh, January, uh, January 2. Very few days. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y this Friday de... De the party. De the, the party. En in Cajamarca. Wow. At least we, we'll find a, a, a good place. <laughs> yeah, that's a very... Well, I ha, actually, I have never been there, like, you know, but I, I've seen pictures and videos and it, it seems really... Nice, a nice place. It's a like, it's a beautiful place, but you need to go with your jacket because it's very very cold there. That's true. Yeah, the weather, mm -hmm. and especially these days, you know that in general the weather is cooler, right? E everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so over there yes. is even more. Mm -hmm. And these days we have a uh, some wind. Uh, some what? I don't know. Some wind. Ah, These yes, days. yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yesterday and today has been really windy. Really, yeah. really windy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if, if in Friday we'll, we'll have some windy too, but mm -hmm. it'll be very cold there. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it should be cold over there. Well, I think you got to take it easy this, these next days. <laughs> I, I I will try because this ultimate day is very very hard and busy to me I for the know. the ultimate uh, orders that I that I put to the providers. Also, uh -huh. uh, sometimes uh, well the the salesperson the sale mm -hmm. will require uh, it requires uh, offers, so I need to ask uh, the quotes to the providers too and make all the arrangements in my orders to, to be placed in time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And very, very busy, but <laughs> really, <laughs> I, I need, I need, I really need my, my holidays. Yeah. <laughs> to rest. To rest. Definitely. Well, Let's see who else is here. We have Danny as a listener, Gabriela as a listener, Lady as a listener, Leticia as a listener. Oh my gosh, we have uh, almost everybody's a listener today. Gilberto, are you a listener today? <laughs> present teacher. What You're you present. <laughs> In body and soul. <laughs> Body and mind. <laughs> okay. Um, well, how are, how is everybody doing today? Today is Wednesday, right? Middle of the week. How are you doing, Gilberto? Uh, 
uh, I'm working uh, very, very nice uh, for today. Uh, the traffic, hard traffic, difficult. Uh, the... Where did you go today? Did you stay in San Salvador or did you go out of San Salvador? Uh, I was San Salvador. Uh, I work in, I work working in Santa Ana. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you had to travel out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, Mr. Israel. Hello, good evening. And Mauricio, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let me see who is writing. Roberto. Okay, Roberto, got it. Okay, well, um, let's start by checking attendance and then we um and then we continue with our content class content. Okay, okay, Roberto. Got it. Well, um let me check here who is. Okay, well, um, we have, let's see, Danny Anthony, Siguenza Aventura. I think I saw your name, Danny. Okay. Uh, Gilberto Benito Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Andres Martinez Perez. Uh, not here yet. Probably he'll join, join us soon. Um, Jose Israel Martinez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Not here yet. Um, let me see. Lady Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Okay, Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Sorry. Uh, Maria Leticia de Alejeño González. Hello, Maria Leticia. Present teacher. Eh, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca. Present teacher. Y Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. Vaya. Okay, Rebecca, got it. She's make she's she's preparing the party. Okay, it's gonna be a good party, Rebecca. <laughs> make make it worth it. <laughs> Roberto Carlos Gámez Alvarenga, he's a listener for right now. Uh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez Arteaga, okay, you're a listener too. Sofia Karina Crespo not here yet. And Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Okay, I see you as a listener. Okay, very good. Well, um, we're almost there, everybody. I know at this point, many of you may be feeling, as we were talking with Rodrigo, uh, Many, many of us, including me, <laughs> I'm feeling burnt out as well uh, because, you know, well, especially in, well, it, from my experience, this year has been really like I've had to work a lot more than other years. So, yes, at this point, we, we start to feel, I think maybe from, I don't know, since October, November, right? We start feeling that kind of, as we say in Spanish, el, la bajada, ¿verdad? El bajón de energía. <laughs> as the year ends, but here we are, okay? Uh, so let's try to do our best. Okay, Um. well, 
today we're going to start by uh, checking. Let me see here. Okay, we're going to start by checking um, these expressions and I'm going to refer you back to um, page 33. Okay, where we had this conversation, remember, about the cinnamon soda. And uh, there were some expressions that were highlighted, for example, simply put, uh, in other words, okay? And um, without going uh, strictly to the, di or directly to the chart where it explains what these words mean or what their function is, I would like you to focus on the way they are being used in this conversation um, and come up with a conclusion, okay? Based on, on what you see in the conversation. What do you think is the function of this of these expressions? Simply put, or in other words, what is their function in these uh, paragraphs? Okay, take a moment to read the, you can read the paragraph, right? And see what the connection is. What is the connection or what is the relationship that you see uh, between this expression and the rest of the ideas in the paragraph? Uh, I think when you want to, for example, when you're talking about of an addition, of that topic with other commentary or maybe when you want to maybe you want to um, change a ha, no make another opinion in the for the same topic mm -hmm. okay so first you said to add more information, right? To add One information the, about your talking about in the in, in the in the meantime. Uh -huh. But also you when you want to make uh another comment, uh, no, another opinion, uh oppo opposite opinion of the same topic. Okay, okay. Or, 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 or maybe, or maybe. When you want, for example, when in, in the part of the in other words, or when mm -hmm. you want to tell the idea, but uh, with other words. Okay, in a different way, right? Mm -hmm. Same idea, but different way, different vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yes, Rodrigo, thank you for your uh, participation. Uh, yes, that is... Um, let's say the basic um, idea for using or the basic relationship of these phrases regarding the rest of the paragraph, right? Okay, now we're going to come here to page 35 and uh, we're going to check some more like specific explanation about the use of these expressions, okay? So, um, well, in this case, these expressions uh, have the function of clarifying a point. So, how to use expressions to clarify a point. Okay, and we're going to see some other examples here in this, um, in this chart. Okay, so let me see who wants to help me here. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, Israel, please, uh, to help me read this, uh, the information we see at the top of the chart, which is like the general explanation for the use of these phrases. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation or exemplification of our ideas as we speak. Use in other words, that is to stay simply put, etc., to make your point clear to others. Okay, thank you. 
Now, I want you to see that there are three, um, three words here, right? Clarification, explanation, or exemplification, okay? So um, we can say that the three of them are synonyms and uh, they, we can summarize these three expressions, these three words into clarification or make your, your ideas clear, make your point clear as we see here at the end, make your point clear to others. How do you make your point clear to others? Well, you explain, but you also exemplify, or you can give examples, okay? Exemplify is the action of giving examples. So um, that's what we do. And uh, well, we have three expressions here that we are focusing on. Um, well, actually, if you look at the, the examples, uh, there are, okay, we have this one. In other words, we also have that is, or we can add to say, that is to say, um, simply put, namely, and uh, this means or which means, okay? Now, these are only some of, of some examples, right? Um, there are many other phrases that can help us um, do this as well, clarify our ideas, okay? So these are only some examples. Um, I can say probably the, the most widely used, especially because as, if you notice uh, in this course, we are focusing a lot on, um, I could say, um, probably academic vocabulary, but mostly related to marketing, right? This module, as you may have noticed, is focused on marketing. All right, so uh, that means that what well, we're using it in a professional context, um, academic context, context, sorry. Uh, so we are using this kind of expressions. Um, there, there may be some other expressions that uh, are used to clarify as well, but they are probably more informal or even more technical. Um, so depending on the context, right, we use one or the other phrase, even though they mean the same, but one is more informal, the other is formal and so on. Okay, well, um, having said that, let's look at uh, the examples and especially I want you to focus on uh, how they are placed into the sentence, okay? Like the structure or the position these uh, phrases have within the sentence, okay? So let's see, Gilberto, can you please read the number one? Okay, teacher. One way to help your target market lie and choose yours do is to publish often through online channels. In the other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educate, educates. Okay, thank you. Now, um, here I'm going to go back to what Rodrigo was saying in terms of, um, well, for this specific case, in other words, right? What are we doing here? Excuse me. In other words. Uh, I'm sorry. For example, for example, teaching in mm -hmm. other word, uh, the other for the explanation, the, the sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's focus on this, this example. So we are saying uh, one way to help your target market like and trust you is, okay, and here we have the idea, to publish 
often through online channels. To publish often through online channels. In other words, okay, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. 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 Mm -hmm. educates. So, I, okay, I want you to see that the first idea, this one, to publish through online channels, okay? This is the, the first idea. And the second idea is this one, okay? So I say publish often through online channels. I'm being, in this case, I'm being general because I only say online channels, okay? And then when I, when I say in other words, I'm being more specific because, okay, an online channel could be, a, for example, a post on Facebook, in, on my Facebook page, a post on my Instagram page, a short video in, on TikTok. A, but in this case, we are being specific, um, suggesting a blog. So um, in the first idea, you have it general and in the second idea you are more specific and you give a, a concrete example okay so i want you to see a, um, this function of the phrase in other words right uh, meaning that as rodrigo said you are providing i mean you're saying the same idea but with different uh, words uh, we can say here that more specific, right? More specific um, examples. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, uh, I'm going to do this one. Okay. I, I'm going to, to take uh, the time or to give you the time as we discuss each of these examples. I want you to take this example as a model and write your own example, okay? Try to focus also in this topic of, a, well, a, which is brand awareness, right? Or brand loyalty. Let's, let's try to stay in the same topic. Um, but right now my task for you individually is that you can think of a sentence where you use in other words, okay? Just so we, I know that uh, it is being clear, okay? That my explanation and the examples are clear. So let's take probably around two to three minutes to think of one example where we use in other words, okay? Time, time, time. Let me check here the timer. Okay, three minutes. Teacher, only with the expression in other words. Yes, right now we are focusing only, yes, on this one, in other words. Probably to take, not to take too much time, I'm gonna check two or three examples or the ones that you are able to share in the next three minutes. And then we go to the next uh, phrase, okay?
Okay, let's see. We have the first example from Israel. Okay, our time is over. So I'm going to check Israel's example and if somebody else has their example ready, you can share it so I can check it. But uh, we're going to continue with the next um, phrase, okay? So we have to learn English, you need to use your language skills. In other words, you have to practice every day. Okay, very good. In this case, Israel um, is clarifying, is using the, the expression, in other words, to clarify uh, this part. You need to use your language skills. How do you use your language skills? Well, you practice every day, right? Mommy, okay. Mommy. Yeah. Now, uh, let's look at the other one. Sometimes you need someone else to talk. In other words, take out your thoughts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. And also, let's check uh, the punctuation, right? Uh, in this example, as you see, uh, the expression, in other words, is between commas, right? because it is like um, an addition to the sentence, right? So we make a pause before and after. We say, um, okay, one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we make a little pause be before and after. Uh, also, well, this is, uh, how they are being used here. But another way to punctuate this would be that you have a period here after channels, right? And then you start a new sentence using, in other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educa educates. So we can make it two sentences um, by adding a period after channels. Um, okay, great. Thank you, Israel. Now, I don't see any other examples, so I'm going to move on to the next um, phrase, okay? Um, so, let me see who can help me here. Hello, Andres. <laughs> I hadn't seen you. Welcome. Yes, uh, sorry, I I arrived late, late to my house because I, uh, there is a lot of traffic. Okay. Well, welcome. You're here. Ready. Okay. So let's read number two, Andres, please. Okay, teacher. You can increase your writing as an expert and reach a bro broader market by developing a podcast. That it's, that it's, to say, record your talks and allow your customer to download it. Download okay. it. Mm -hmm. Download it. Download, Download it. it. Download it. Yes. Okay. So what we are doing, uh, Andres, is that uh, I'm giving you some time for you to think of your own example using the expression. We already did one with in other words, and now we're going to focus on that is to say. As you notice, in the case of that is to say, to say is in parentheses. That means that it is optional, okay? We can say it complete, that is to say, or we can just say that is. Now, um, the difference is that when we say that is to say, is more formal, okay? And when we use it just like that is, it's a little bit more informal, okay? That is the only difference. Um, so again, I'm going to, um, let, let's, let's, look, let's look at the structure, okay? Uh, we have, you can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market reach a broader market by developing a podcast. Okay, so here, 
developing a podcast. Then you say, that is to say, so just in case somebody doesn't know what a podcast is, right? For example, let me check here. Do you know what a podcast is? Raise your hand if you know what a podcast is. Okay, Andres. Aha. Uh -huh. Rodrigo. Who else? Me. <laughs> I'm raising my hand too. <laughs> Okay. So teacher, for example, we can say uh, uh, developing a podcast, that is to say an interview. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, when you say talk, talk is, is a synonym of interview, uh -huh, because you, I mean, you are asking questions to, or you are like leading a conversation with an expert, right? So yes. So in this case, uh, the that is to say is introducing, right, the, uh, the other idea that is more specific in terms of developing a podcast, right? So as I was saying, we are like, um, just in case uh, somebody doesn't know what a podcast is, then I take the liberty to go beyond, be more specific and say, ah, okay, when I, when I say developing a podcast, I mean, record your talks and allow your customers to download it, right? So um, I'm going beyond, I'm, I'm being more specific, okay? And also notice that we have it between commas, just like in other words, okay? So again, uh, let's take three minutes to think of a, of an example using that is to say. Okay, and time starts now. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to check Gilberto's example here. My customers know all product Okay, in this case, Gilberto, I'm going to try to reword it and you please tell me if that is what you actually mean, okay? So I'm going to say, my customers Mm. are aware or what we can use no all the products my company distributes In other words, okay, now here, Gilberto, when I say my customers know all the products my company distributes, um, talking about the same topic of awareness, I will use that expression, okay? Because when I say that my, my customers know my products is because they are aware, they know, right? about everything I distribute. So in other words, they are aware uh, of my brand. And I can add this part about garlic that you have. They are aware, maybe they are aware that I distribute garlic. Okay, like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
My customers know all the products my company distributes. In other words, they are aware that I distribute garlic and probably other, other spices, right? I used garlic because that was your idea, but we can say that I distribute garlic and other spices. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that was time over for uh, the next, the, the second example. Um, but let me see. Okay, Israel. Uh -huh. If you're going to do an investment, think twice. Think twice, that is, find a person who can advise you. Mm -hmm. If you're going to do an investment, think twice. That is, find a person who can advise you. Probably here we can add something else to be more specific. Find a person who can advise you for you to for you to make the, the best decision. Right? Because that way, when we are saying make the best decision, it means that you have taken the time to, to think about it really. Um uh, I mean really well, right? You have uh, invested time in getting advice from somebody else, from an expert. So we can add that to make it even more specific. Okay, let's see. Okay, I don't know if you have an example, Rodrigo, or, or if your hand is up from the last participation. No, teachers, I don't have any other example. Okay, okay. Well, let's now move on to our, our third uh, idea. Okay, and let's see. Sophia, hello, Sophia. Can you help me with number three, please? Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello. Uh, we're going to uh, make example. Using yes, the... Let's read the, the sentence first, the example. Okay, perfect. Today's customer are looking for guarantee, simple put ex exception service after they have purchased your product. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, here, what we are explaining after the expression, simply put, okay, I, I want you to tell me, every anybody, anybody, since we have already worked on two examples, now I want you to tell me, by saying or by adding exceptional service after they have purchased your product, which idea from the previous, the previous part here, which idea do you think we are uh, clarifying with this with this second part? In this first part, I need you to tell me which idea or which words, which word specifically we are clarifying. Today's customer customers are looking for guarantees. 
Maybe the main idea is looking for. Mm, not exactly, because looking for, I mean, we would need to have a synonym specifically for the, the, the verb, in this case, looking for. But we don't have that here. Here we have exceptional service after they have purchased your product. I think the idea is to uh, to the consumer get that satisfied satisfaction satisfaction that the product is going to um, be protected by this by the guarantee. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So in this case, I mean specifically, the word we have in the sentence is guarantees, right? And what is a guarantees? What is a guarantee? Sorry. Uh, we are we are um, defining that here, okay? What is a guarantee? Is an exceptional service, etc. Okay, so yes, in this case, what we are clarifying in this example is the word guarantees, right? Mm -hmm. So again, we have a general idea first. And then we try to be more specific, more concrete, right? Okay, uh, so again, let's take some time, please. Three minutes to create your own example. I invite everybody to do it. I mean, the ones who are participating, remember the practice makes the master. So don't just be um, observant, observers spectators, <laughs> be the stars, be protagonists. Okay, we have three minutes. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, okay? That's what we are here for. Okay, we have one example already, but we still have about one minute and 20 seconds. So if you are building your example, go ahead. Okay, let me see. We have a... Um, Jose Israel, okay. I don't want to go to my job tomorrow. <laughs> Good. Simply put, I want to retire. <laughs> Okay, I want to retire. <laughs> the bank didn't close at any moment. Um, okay, in this case, Andres, in your example about the bank, um, you are building a new sentence with a new idea. Okay, so 
what we are looking for in this case with simply put is that it helps us, it's, it's like a transitional phrase or a phrase that can help us introduce a, an explanation or a clarification from the previous idea. So in your example, I would change it like, okay, the bank didn't close at any at any moment. Simply put, uh, it is stayed open 24 seven. Sorry, that was the timer. Okay, so because I'm saying it didn't close at any moment, right? So in other words, or simply put, it, it stayed open 24 seven or 20, the 24 hours like that, okay? Because I'm saying the same idea uh, more specifically uh, from the previous idea. I don't know if I'm being clear. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Got it. Um, I mean, here you are kind of doing the same, but uh, it actually becomes a different uh, verb, okay? Because you have simply put up a sign so it's like it becomes a, a, a verb. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see Gilberto's example. Loyalty brand, the customers is very important for the company that we need to, that is a, okay, this is about that is. Uh, that is, we need the customers to exist. Okay, I'm going to reword your sentence. Uh, also, Gilberto, uh, I mean, I, I, I see that the idea is, is there. Um, the expression that is, is functioning well. We just need to reword uh, the ideas to make them more um, coherent, okay? So we can say a brand loyalty, brand loyalty. Okay, customers brand loyalty. Customers brand loyalty is very important. Ooh. Is very important. That is, a, we need customers to exist. Or maybe if we want to be even yes. more specific. Hello? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh, yes. Or if we want to be more specific, okay. we can say that is we need customers for our brand. For our brand to exist. Mm -hmm. For our brand to exist. Um, in this case, this is a this is this is structure. Uh, everybody is a little um I would say I don't know if everybody's familiar with this structure but we call it um the en español le llamamos el subjuntivo entonces se traduciría como para que nuestra marca exista entonces esa esa forma del verbo en este caso existir exista se llama subjuntivo entonces en inglés lo hacemos de esta manera for you to do something for for our customers to... mm -hmm. okay for our brand to exist okay let's see um... okay i i thought we had a new Example, but I don't see any other. 
Ah, okay. Andres, tonight my mom simply put a frozen pizza in the oven for our dinner. Okay, in this case, Andres, um, the the um, the expression is correctly used. Uh, I mean, grammatically, it's correct. The meaning is correct. Everything is correct in your sentence. However, uh, we are we are not giving it the function that we I mean the function that we are practicing right now, which is clarifying. Okay, clarifying. So that means that in order for this phrase to to work as a, a let's say to clarify, you need to have two ideas, okay? The first idea, which is more general, and the second idea, which is more specific, okay? So uh, I'm going to work with your example just to for you to see how, uh, how we can change the function, in this case of simply put. Um, okay, we can say, Tonight, my mom, eh, my mom didn't want to cook. <laughs> okay, my mom didn't want to cook. Simply put, she, um, what she put or she microwaved frozen pizza. Okay, so first you want, or maybe you can say. Today, tonight my mom was was lazy. <laughs> to, tonight my mom was lazy. Simply put, she microwaved a frozen pizza for our dinner. I don't know if you see the, the difference. So, yes, teacher. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So I, for example, um, I have to repeat the subject. You, uh, first. Uh -huh. Yes. And then this part, I, I, I know be clear for me right now. Uh -huh. Yes. So, so uh -huh. I have to, I have to put in the sentences two subjects. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not exactly okay. subjects, but uh, two ideas. Okay. Two ideas yes, two, two that idea. are similar. Uh -huh. Two ideas that are similar. The first one will be more general and the second one will be more specific. Okay. Okay, teacher. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know why I cannot see the comments. The, the, I mean, the... Okay, I think that's it, right? We don't, we don't have any, any new example. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. We have number four. Um, let's see. Rodrigo, can you help me with number four, please? Another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. A group. Okay, thank you. Now here, I mean, remember, all of them are functioning as clarifiers, okay? They clarify a point. That is the, their, their function in common. Um, but uh, for example, the, the word namely, okay? Well, it in this case is, is self-explanatory in the sense that when you say namely, we're talking about names, right? Um, so you, as we say in Spanish, usted lo nombra con, es decir, usted eh, lo menciona con nombre y apellido. Okay, so in this case, eh, we are talking about a Facebook group. Um, so we say, eh, participate in a social networking site, okay? Aquí está lo general. If we have the general category, let's say social networking site. And then uh, we use the, the expression namely 
to introduce the specific working networking site that we're talking about. In this case, a Facebook group, okay? So this namely uh, works also to clarify a point, but more specifically, it helps us um, provide, in this case, a specific the specific brand, we can say, or the specific um, name of the company, the group of people, or the name of the person, etc. Okay, so it refers to names. Well, again, I'll give you time for you to create your example and then provide a feedback. Okay. Okay, we have some examples here. Let's see. Andres, one of my friends. Okay, sorry. One of my friends has a lot of girls. <laughs> one of my friends has a lot of girlfriends. Name me, namely. Okay, but here, Andres, you need to mention the names of the girls. Remember, I said, namely, is like, you need to say who they are, okay? Um, let's see, I learned an important lesson when I lost my first job, namely, that nothing is 100% guaranteed. Um,
Okay, you are specifying what the important lesson was, right? In this case, that nothing is 100% guaranteed, okay? Um, let's see, my customer's brand recognize the quality, simply put the price. Mm, Gilberto, in this case, remember the first idea with the second idea need to be basically the same. Here, when we say quality and price, they are different things. Okay. Yes. Yes, me take the example products. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, uh, ¿Cómo le podría decir? Toqué y se me fue la, y no puse la aclaración, ¿verdad? El producto. Ajá, ajá, because here, okay, for example, we can say, my customer's brand, uh, okay, wait, my customers, vamos a poner aquí, my customers recognize the brand quality. The brand quality. Simply put, Simply put, they, mm, let's see. Simply put, they know, mm, let me see, they know my spices are the, are the most fresh and let me see the most fresh and organic in the market okay i'm being here okay i'm talking about quality at the beginning right that is the first idea they recognize the brand quality um so when i say after i say simply put um, I'm being like more specific in terms of what quality I'm referring to, which characteristics make my brand be high quality, right? They are fresh and they are organic or the most organic in the market. Those are characteristics that I can use to describe in this case, you product specifically, which is spices, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see, Israel. Mm. Do you mean my car? My car is cheap to, to maintain. Well, the, the, the idea is my car is cheap to maintain or the, or the services of my car is, are cheaper than others, namely Toyota, for example. But I, I, I really, I don't know how to use that word namely. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's try. Okay, I'm gonna use the, your idea, but reword it a little bit so it makes more sense. Let's see. Um, my car, okay. I think here, because you are talking about Toyota, Toyota is a brand, right? So we can say, okay, let me reply to your message here. My car, a, my car brand, wait. Um, let's see. Uh -huh. Let's see. Cheap maintenance. Cheap maintenance. Cheap maintenance is a characteristic. Is a characteristic of my car 
brand, namely Toyota. Okay, cheap maintenance is a characteristic, oh, I missed the, the S, characteristic of my car brand, namely Toyota. So my car brand, right? That is the general idea. And when I say Toyota, well, I'm being more specific about which brand I'm talking about. Here I could say, for example, a high maintenance is a characteristic of my car brand, namely, tell me a car brand that is high to me, that, that requires high maintenance or expensive maintenance. I don't know, I would say Nissan Rogue, for example. They say that they are they are not cheap to maintain. So, but I don't know if if that rewarding is clear for you, Mr. Nisland. Yes, it is clear, teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, according to the example, I have to put um and I don't have to mention, for example, the brand in the first part of the sentence. Uh -huh. I'm going to mention it after the namely to yes. put the, the word namely. I'm Except. going to be I'm going to specify what brand I, I was talking at the beginning. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because the word namely oh. is telling you that you're going to provide a name, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank For you example, so much. Okay, you're welcome. Well, For example, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to find another example. I'm going to write it right now because I want to check if I got the idea. Excellent. Very good. Okay, I'm going to go back to... Uh, ah, I'm sorry. I hadn't seen your... I don't know why it's, it's so, so like, um, I mean, messages get a little uh, lost here. Okay, I, I want to see Sophia's example. You could use browser in internet to do your homework of investigation, namely artificial intelligence. Mm, okay, in this case, um, Sophia, well, artificial intelligence is not actually a browser, okay? It's, um, how can I say, a technology. It's a kind of technology. So if we're talking about browser, uh, I mean, we can, we can work with this idea in two ways, Sophia. One idea could be, one way could be, that if you're talking about browsers specifically, then you can mention Google, you can mention Bing, you can mention Yahoo, you can mention um, Mozilla, okay? Those are browsers. So we can say, you could use an internet browser to do your research, your, your research homework, okay? Your research homework. You could use an internet browser to do your research homework, namely Google, for example. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. The other way that we could uh, express this idea if we want to focus on artificial intelligence could be, um, you could, um, let's see, you could use a, you could use any artificial intelligence um, let me see what's a uh, word we can use. Maybe tool could be. Mm -hmm. um, you could use an, an, an artificial intelligence tool to do your research homework, namely uh, ChatGPT. Okay. okay. So, uh -huh. The artificial intelligence is the, the general, right? Artificial intelligence tool. And we know that these days, uh, well, actually, uh, 
chat GPT, we have three and now I think we have four and um, there are others, right? Open, I think there is one, no, open AI is actually chat GPT, but there are others, other uh, tools for artificial intelligence. So you're gonna mention specifically the brand or the name, right? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, Andres, the karate, Karate, karate <laughs> has three spiritual qualities, namely patience, knowledge, and discipline. Very good. Very good, Andres. I would just change, in this case, patient by patience, because that is the noun, since a quality is a noun, right? So patient is the adjective. So I say patience with C-E. Okay, okay. Mm, let's see. Okay, uh, your new example. All day I feel blessed of my work company, namely Banco Agricola. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. I feel ble blessed. I, I I would change the preposition of by saying with, or I feel blessed with my work company. Namely, okay. The use of namely is perfectly done here. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have one more. So let's see who else is available here. I don't know if Roberto was available or Lady. Because some of you told me you were going to be listeners for a part of the class. So let's see. Lady, are you here? Yes, teacher, I am available. Yay, okay, let's read the last one. Hello? Uh can you repeat, teacher, please? Yes, just read. Help me read the last sentence, please. Um, is the proyectando or no la veo? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The ultimate marketing, the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think it of you. This wish means that you must focus on satisfying customer needs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Now, um, I would say that, well, and you can tell me if, if I'm, 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 I'm right, that this is the most common uh, expression, okay? Mm -hmm. This means, right? Out of all these expressions that we have been checking, this one is the most common, okay? We use this means, which in Spanish, eh, it translates to, esto significa que, o esto quiere decir que, right? So I would say it's, it, out of the five that we have been checking, this one is the most common. Um, okay. Um, and basically you are providing explanation, right? Uh, so we have the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. Okay, so the, the, the idea here is to have your market, sorry, target market think of you. So this idea is further explained here that you must focus on satisfying customers needs okay um so when when we think of someone it means that we are thinking of their needs right i'm not thinking about my needs as a as the owner of the brand right i'm thinking about my customers needs um 
it's interesting because today I was in a training from my my job, my day job, <laughs> and we were talking about this, right? Like the the trainer told us, okay, think about, don't think about what the company wants. Think about what your customer wants or your customer needs, right? So sometimes that is difficult, um, right? But Okay, here is the, the idea that we are clarifying or explaining. When you think of um, you, it means that have your target market think of you is that you satisfy their needs. Okay, now I want to take advantage of this example to explain this word, ultimate. Okay, how do you translate the word ultimate? in Spanish. The ultimate. A simple vista, ¿cómo traducimos esta palabra? The ultimate. Último. 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 OK. But the last. Ajá. Uh -huh. Like the last marketing. Okay, this is what I want to clarify in this example because it is not exactly the last, okay? It's not a synonym of, because last um, is used in terms of time, okay? Chronological order, the last time, time order. In this case, it's, it's not about that. We, we choose the one auction and that is the auction that we are going to develop or use <laughs> i think mm. the definitive <laughs> okay uh-huh yes yes the but is well in spanish we we will translate as el ulterior no sé si están familiarizados con esa palabra ulterior pero es como El, la meta, okay? Eh, maybe what what we don't see, right? What we don't, what is not eh, visible, but it it's like the eh, the basis, right? Also in Spanish we can say el meollo del asunto, el, lo principal, lo definitivo también podría ser. Um, so that is when, when we say the ultimate is like the most basic, in this case, the most basic goal, right, for marketing. So I just wanted to clarify that because this is an example of what we call in English false friends or false cognates. It means that it is a word that in English looks very similar to a word in Spanish, but they have different meanings, okay? Uh, it's also like the word actually. How do you translate actually in, in, in Spanish? Actualmente. De hecho, de hecho. En efecto. Okay, so we have, yes, it looks very, it, it looks like it would be actualmente, right, in Spanish. But it is not actualmente. It is de hecho. Eh, ¿Cuál fue la otra palabra que me dijeron? Eh, en efecto. En efecto. Mm -hmm. So that's why they are false friends, okay? <laughs> because they, they make you think that they are similar to a word in Spanish, but they are not. <laughs> like a false friend, right? They show you friendship, but they are not your friends. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's go back to the use of which means or this means. Okay. So again, I'm going to give you three more minutes to create an example.
Okay, let's see. Do we have one example at least from someone? Okay, let's see, Andres, the increase in salary, this means everything will be more expensive. Mm. Okay, there is something missing here, Andres, in the first part. Um, let me see. Probably, let me see, the increase in salary, okay, we can say the increase in salary will generate um, will generate um, will generate some effects in the market, okay? The increase in salary will generate some effects in the market. This means everything will be more expensive, okay? So here I'm, I'm mentioning one of those effects, right? That everything will be more expensive, okay? Um, let's see, so the, okay? The ultimate reason for companies is to generate profits. Okay. In this case, I guess you're focusing on practicing with the word ultimate, right? <laughs> Which is good. Yes. The ultimate reason for companies is to generate profits. Definitely. We make up or companies make it up with Yes, satisfying customers' needs, et cetera, et cetera. But of course, the reason for a company to be, to exist, is to generate profits. Okay, I don't see any more, any more examples. So, well, I don't know if you still have some doubts about any of these um, expressions. If you want me to give you an extra example of a specific um, expression, please ask me, just ask me. Okay, let me check Gilberto's example. The consumers that send garlic, this means purchase other company. Mm. Okay. I guess, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to guess here. Uh, do you mean, for example, the consumers don't buy my garlic? This means they are purchasing from, or if the consumers, this, this would be a little bit different. If the consumers don't buy my garlic, this means that they are purchasing from another company. Am I right? Que si no me compran a mí es porque lo están comprando de otra compañía. Right? Yes. From, a, from a, a, a other company. Okay. So in this case, it would be if, I'm, I'm going to use the conditional, if the consumers or customers, customers, the consumers, well, consumers, I'm going to use your word. The consumers don't buy, don't, don't 
by uh -huh. I'm, I'm using don't because you are using the plural okay consumers okay mm -hmm. consumers don't buy my garlic this means This means that they are they are purchasing from another company. From another company. Yes, if they are not buying my, of course they are buying from another because they they need it, right? If you are talking about restaurants, for example, of course garlic is a key ingredient, right? So they need to buy it from some, someone else. So, mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Well, I don't know, again, if you have any question about any of these ideas, if, they are, if some of them are not so clear. No? Well, in this next activity, I'm going to um, recommend, well, actually we're going to, to work on this exercise right now. Uh, number seven, insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. Add the necessary punctuation to join the, the A close in, Okay, I'm sorry, I hear that there is a mistake. Add the necessary punctuation to join uh, the clause and the phrase together. Okay, the clause and the phrase together. Um, so, for example, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. And here we are adding commas. Instead of the period, we take out the period and we add commas. Simply put, social networking sites. Okay, so I'm uh, being more specific. Generate online advertising. Simply put, social networking sites. Okay, so that is the example. Um, okay. I'm going to give you some time to work with a classmate. Okay, on these, the, the other four ideas, okay? Because so far we have been working uh, individually, but uh, let's take some time to share with a classmate um, with this exercise, okay? So let's see. Okay, Gabriela, can you please confirm if you can participate? Or I don't know if you said that you're going to be a listener for the rest of the week. Let me check. Okay, so okay, I think these are the people who are who are ready. So, okay, what are we going to do with our classmate? Basically, a uh, work on exercise seven, okay? Items two, three, four, and five. And, well, let's take, let's try to take five minutes to, to check together, and then we, we check the answers as a class, okay? So we have five minutes.
Um, lady, do you have any issues connecting to your room? Joining the room? Teacher. Hello, Israel. Teacher, I have a problem because the other person who I'm going to, <laughs> to practice is myself. <laughs> Um sorry, yes, actually I was I was asking um lady why she hadn't moved. I mean, but let me see. I'm going to do something here just to because the thing the thing is that sometimes it's not because they don't want to, it's because they I don't know the system. Okay, but now I'm gonna move her back to number one. Oh, <laughs> I made a mistake. Teacher, okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the thing is that um, uh, there is no other way to to move you, like when you. I have already assigned you to a room and and um you have not joined. It's not like I can reassign you. I need to move you to another one and then move you back. So I'm sorry. <laughs> Entre <Okay>. grupo anduve. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, let's start. I'll leave you to work. Okay. to say I think by viewing the product slow yo creo que sí es que para mí para ser siento que es simple pug porque dice by big win the product logo o sea, simplemente pon el, el logo ¿eh? o, o la marca y el cliente lo reconoce verdad uh -huh. solo que por ejemplo si traducimos todo sería brand recognition ¿Cómo se llama? Como el reconocimiento de la marca. Podemos poner simple put, podemos poner simple put y este y también tenemos la opción de este dar esto say. Uh -huh. Sí, como es para aclarar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. La idea. Podemos, ¿verdad? podemos tener las dos por cualquier cosa. Okay. Pues, eh, ahora la four. Este, the brands have become well known. The products low. Sí, eh, tiene toda la razón. Ahí va esa. These brands have become well known. They have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Eh, no, quiero ver. You have to publish high quality pero, content. Pero, pero, pero <laughs> revisando uh -huh. la, en la segunda, entonces, ¿cuál pondríamos? Brand recognition is very important element of brand awareness. It means, or oh, which means, the customer knows that a particular eh, brand exists. Podría ser. Y en la tres sería, in other words. In other words. No. Brand recognition.
Hello. Teacher, good night. Good evening, bro. Excuse me. Um, but you want to say good night because you're yeah. sleepy. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have a question because lady has his her book on her laptop, but we don't know what page it is we are going to work on. Okay, it's 35. 35. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, activity activity seven. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, teacher. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, that's all. Ay. Me siento como complicada. Lo voy a mandar a. ¿Cómo aparece en WhatsApp? José ¿Yo? Israel. Sí. Oh, así, José Israel. Ok, I'm going to. Well, I don't know if, if you want me to help you. I can share it with everybody. Ah, ok. Let's see. Well, but you can share it in the meantime. Let's see which one is faster, you or or me. <laughs> because I had an open WhatsApp in my computer. Teacher, la yes? encuesta cuando la vamos a llenar. La encuesta. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm not sure. Uh, es que nos la mandaron. ¿Ah? Es que nos la mandaron. Did they give you instructions that we will fill it out in class? Um, yo no he, no he entrado al chat. <laughs> Solo leí medio que decía eso. I think that is something very individual, like personal you do it on your own time but i don't know about the deadline i guess it's supposed to be before the module ends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it is the the survey for evaluating me right mm -hmm. uh-huh so yes it, it's something you do on your own time just try to do it before the module ends sí, yo pensé que era la harley queen la del, la del whatsapp ahorita Okay. No, es que la había así de, de, de así de, No, yo pensaba que era un Harley Quinn No, no es broma, porque solo lo había así Claro, ¿quién será? Dije yo Ey, sí. teacher, escuche Ajá <risa> Defiéndame no, no, es que la había así de reojo no, no pensé que era ella, pensé que era un, un muñequito Un avatar No, pero yo <risa> Ay, perdón <risa> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me... Bah, oh. And who is Harley Quinn? Sí, te... Who is Harley Quinn? Who Harley Quinn is? Me va a estar el otro pedazo de pelo azul. Ya lo voy a leer. A ver quién es. I don't know. Okay, so. Go ahead because you are you are delayed. <laughs> Finish yes. as soon as possible.
Okay, everybody, welcome back. Uh, well, I was waiting for some of you. That's why uh, we were. I gave you a few more minutes, okay? Well, uh, let's go directly to check your answers. Give me one second here. I'm gonna share the screen. Okay, very good. Let's start with number two. Um, Andres and Gilberto, what do you have for number two? The teacher, uh, I don't, Mr. Andre, my person is means. Yes, the brand this. recognition is a very important mm -hmm. element of brand awareness. This means the consumer knows that a particular Brand axis. Okay, sorry. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. This means yes. because the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Yes. Mm -hmm. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's fine. This means. Okay, does anybody else have another option? Let's see if it combines, if it matches. I think it's okay, teacher. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you sound so, so relaxed. So, it's come on. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Number three. <laughs> Lady in Israel, what's your opinion for three? Brand, brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service, namely... Namely, okay, mm -hmm. namely by viewing the product's logo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I would say it is correct. Um, maybe to, to make it even more um, matching, it should be a specific name, right? Like the, the, the examples we practice with, but... Um, these expressions, they they all have the same function. So yes, it is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, namely, let's see number four. Mm -hmm. Sofia and Rodrigo, who is going to share about number four? Number four, teacher. Mm -hmm. The brand have become well known, mm -hmm. uh, which means they have replaced the common terms for similar products and for the language. Okay, okay, which means they have replaced. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, remember, we are using them to clarify, so same function, which means. Now, uh, I, I, I want to just provide some explanation about the ideas in number four, okay? Uh, these are the brands that, as we were talking about yesterday, if you remember, for example, a Kleenex, for example, uh, I gave you the case of Rinso also, meaning that they have replaced the common terms. What is the common term for Kleenex? Well, disposable napkin, right? What is the common term for Rinso? Detergent, okay? So instead of using the common term, we use the, the brand, right? So, for similar products, um, this is just in terms of the content. 
but yeah, which means it's fine. Okay, the last one, number five. Let's see, are we missing someone? Mm, no, right? Okay, um, I'm going to repeat Andres. What do you have for five? Okay, teacher. Do you have to publish high quality content in other words by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audience? Mm, okay, this example is a little different, okay? Because actually uh, you could just leave it this way because there is no, I mean, we don't have like two similar ideas. Um, however, we could add, in this case, we could say, um, namely, I mean, because you are like being more specific in the second part. However, if you read it this way, you have to publish high quality content by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences. The way it is here, I will say, I don't need to add anything. What I do, what I need to do here is uh, eliminate the period, okay? And this capital B will become a small case B because I am, joining both ideas and the expression by in this case is helping me join both ideas so i could just say it like it is right now just change the punctuation okay um however i also have the possibility if i want to uh, use uh, some expressions for example I mean, but not all of them combine in this example. In most of the examples, well, in all of the previous examples, uh, we, as, we could use one or the other, okay? But in this specific example, because we are using by, okay? The ones that we could use could be uh, namely, okay? You have to publish high quality content, namely, by creating valuable content, etc. Um, or we could we could use um let me see another possibility. Uh -oh. Okay, another possibility would be let's see, you have to publish high quality content. Um Okay, we use namely. Mm. Let's see, that is to say, that is by creating. Okay, that is, could be. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm, because of the structure of the sentence, we need to use one uh, expression that help us put it in the same sentence without having to like cut it in two. In some cases, for example, simply put, or in other words, it sounds like extra. It doesn't really match, okay? So even though they all mean the same, but because of the structure of the sentence, some of them don't match, don't combine. Okay, so with this example, we could use namely or that is, okay? Okay, just I have a question. Uh-huh. When, for example, if we have another sentences that have the same connector that is by, mm -hmm. it's like, um, it just depends from the context. Mm -hmm. Or that is like a mandatory that we have to use namely uh, I would because say we have the connector by the connector by. Yes, I the second the second option, Andres. 
uh, this expression by is already, actually this is already a connector, right? So it's kind of, if we use another one, it becomes kind of repetitive, right? Um, so that's why in this case, the expression namely or the expression that is are the ones that match that are match uh, the most, let's say, because they don't add like extra meaning to the sentence, okay? Um, so yes, with by, it doesn't matter the context, like you can be talking about something else, but if you have the expression by, you are already, um, as, I said, as I said, it's a connector, by is a connector. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. So, okay. I, I, I don't know if, if I confused you more, but the thing is that sometimes connectors, they help us be more clear, but sometimes also if we overuse them, right? It becomes redundant or repetitive, right? The idea becomes redundant. Es como que si en español eh, decimos, por ejemplo, más sin embargo. A veces, eh, y sucede en todos los idiomas, queremos sonar como más sofisticados, eh, pero mm, es lo contrario, ¿verdad? Porque en la expresión más sin embargo estoy duplicando eh, dos conectores, en este caso, más y sin embargo. Entonces... Siendo redundante. So what that's what happens here too. Uh, any comment? <laughs> Is that example clear? Yeah. Like also the comparison with the Spanish? Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Ya habían escuchado esa frase, ¿verdad? Más sin embargo. O incluso la podemos haber dicho alguna vez, siendo inconsciente de que, cómo funciona. So it's an example in Spanish, which also can happen in English, right? Well, um, any other comment, question? How do you feel about the use of these expressions? Confident, so-so, not Confident yet? Not confident yet, teacher. <laughs> okay. Well, um, if you want to practice more, you can send me other examples and I can give you feedback. Remember, I am available for you uh, during the day as well. So for those of you who want to have extra practice, um, you can send me your examples and I will check them when I have, a, if I'm busy at that moment, I will check them later and give you feedback as soon as I can, okay? So please don't be, a, don't hesitate to ask for help if you need it, okay? Well, um, we have a, one activity in which we had to, design an infographic. I'm gonna check how we're doing for tomorrow. If we have the time, we can do it tomorrow, okay? Because right now it's time to go. So I'm gonna stop sharing and just check attendance. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's start with Okay, Danny Anthony, si buena aventura. Are you still here, Danny? Yes. Okay, Gilberto Benito, Santa Maria Rios. Present teacher. Jose Andrés Martinez Pérez. Present teacher. Julio, sorry, Jose Israel Martinez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Julio Aristides Paz Rivas. Is Julio here today? Yes, that's Elizabeth. Okay, a lady, Joana Hernandez Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Rodrigo Morales Ortiz. Present teacher. Maria Leticia Realigeño González. 
listener. Okay, Mauricio de Jesús Buruca Velázquez. Elias present teacher. Rebeca María Cardona Juárez. As a listener. Okay, Roberto Carlos Gámez, also listener. Eh, Rolando Danilo Sánchez, mm -hmm. listener. Eh, Sofía Karina Crespo. Present teacher. And yes, Yesenia Gabriela Aguilar Granadeño. Listen. Okay, well, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Uh, good, night. good night. Good night, Paul. <laughs> good night. You sound so tired and sleepy. Okay, <laughs> good night. <laughs>